today we will see some interesting examples related to double bar graph the double bar graph shown depicts how the production of rice and wheat in india varied over the years find the answers to the following questions with the help of double bar graph in which year was the highest rice production here the production of rice is denoted with blue bars the longest length blue bar is for the year 2015 2016 we can say that the maximum production of rice was done in the year 2015 2016 what was the difference between the production of rice and wheat in the year 2013 2014 we see that in the year 2013 2014 rice production is 107 million tons and wheat production is 96 million tons there is a difference of 107 minus 96 million tons that is 11 million tons in the production of both what percentage of wheat production increased in 2015 2016 as compared to 2014 2015 we see that wheat production is 87 million tons in 2014 2015 and 92 million tons in 2015 2016 increase in wheat production is equal to 92 million tons minus 87 million tons is equal to 5 million tons since we are calculating growth in comparison to the production of 2014 2015 we will consider the production of 2014 2015 as the base and express the increase in percentage in this way the percentage increase is equal to 5 million tons divided by 87 million tons multiplied by 100% which is equal to 5.75% therefore wheat production increased by 5.75% in 2015 2016 as compared to 2014 2015 let's see the next example the following figures were collected to determine the profits of dinesh and ramesh shops Select the appropriate scale and represent the data shown on the double bar graph. Let us draw the given data horizontally by drawing a double bar graph. First we will draw two mutually perpendicular lines on the paper. Take names of months on the x axis and profit in lakhs of rupees on the y axis. For our convenience we will choose a convenient scale. Like here, we can take one unit is equal to two lakh rupees. According to the scale, we will show the numbers on the y-axis. We will take this type of bars to show the profit of Dinesh shop, and this type of bars for showing the profits of Ramesh shop. Now we will represent the data as a pair of bars. The profit of Dinesh's shop in the month of January is five lakh. Therefore, we will draw a bar up to number five on the y-axis. In the same month, the profit of Ramesh's shop is eight lakh rupees, which we will show by drawing a bar up to number eight of y-axis. Similarly, we will represent the data for all months. Remember that the width of the bars is kept the same here and. the distance between pairs of bars is also kept the same in this way we have drawn a double bar graph now can you draw a double bar graph for the marks obtained in various subjects in your last two exams find out the marks of both examinations in which exam you have got more marks in mathematics on this basis What would you say about your maths performance? Will you be able to tell which subject you need to pay more attention? Today we have seen some interesting examples related to double bar graph. 
in the next video we will see some mistakes related to double bar graph